Hello everyone, Tuesday here, coming at you with a special mod review. You know, I'm not a big fan of Fallout 76, but there are a couple of things that I do like. And one of those things is the pump action shotgun. And I thought to myself, if only they had this weapon in Fallout 4. Well ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The Ithaca Model 37, a fantastic mod made by Doombased. This mod brings in a pump action shotgun, complete with custom animations and plenty of workbench modifications. It looks amazing and it is a lot of fun to play with. It's added to the level list, but if you, like me, ain't got time for that, you can also go and find it at any of these two locations. For the people that don't want to know where they can be found, skip to this point of the video, for a spoiler alert is now active. So at the first location, we can find a normal version of the weapon. This weapon can be found at Concord Civic Access. So if you just started a new playthrough, then you are in luck, since you can find it in that hole that Deathclaw crawls out of after obtaining your very first power armor. After killing the Deathclaw and entering the hole, you will see a blue door. Enter it and continue walking down. Go through the hole in the wall and jump down. Be careful though because here you will encounter some more rats. After taking care of them, take a left and follow the path for a bit longer until you get to a staircase. Get into the water and deal with the Mirelurk that is now coming towards you. After turning that Mirelurk into a fish stick, take another left. Here you will find a room with a chest and on top of that chest, the Ithaca Model 37. In this room you will also find a issue of taboo tattoos, so double bonus. At location number 2, we can find a legendary version of this weapon called the Stack Slayer. This weapon can be found at the Boston Police Rationing Site, laying on top of the desk inside a little building. This weapon will do another 50% additional damage to animals and has a hardened receiver, a suppressor, a scope and slug ammo. And it also comes with a very nice engraved picture of a deer just on the side of the weapon. After taking it, I wanted to see what else I could modify, and if you know me, then you know I'm all about realism. So I took the suppressor and the scope right off as soon as I could, which means now it's time for a test run. So I went to the in-game gun range just beside Sanctuary and tried to shoot some bottles. After trying to shoot them from both far away and close by, but in both cases it didn't seem to do much besides creating some holes in the rock behind it. So I guess it's fair to say that the slug ammo is not very accurate. I quickly went back to Sanctuary to get rid of the slug ammo and replace it with some buckshot instead. While modifying the ammo, I was surprised to see what else I could modify. I can also put on a flashlight as well as a laser sight. I can also put on a special stalk which has some ammo displayed on the side, which I think is a really cool detail. Going back to the gun range, it's time for test run number 2. Well that's way better, but now it's time to see what it can do in action. So, going back to Concord, I found some raiders that would make perfect volunteers for this.
after killing them. I can say that this gun is a lot of fun to use. The only downside I have with using this is that the reload time is very long. And it also doesn't load the correct amount of bullets. Even after shooting just one bullet, it will reload the full 5 bullets. So hopefully this gets updated in the future. And speaking of updates, if we go to the mod page we can see that there is a main file as well as some other optional files. We can see a animation update which is made by Wardaddy as well as a 4k texture update. I installed both to see if there was any change. Right away I could see that the animations were now a lot better. But the 4k textures, I didn't really notice it. And knowing that the download size of the 4k textures are about 4 times larger than the actual shotgun, I didn't think it was worth it. So if you get this mod, then get the main file and the animation update and leave the 4k textures for what they are, trust me. And that concludes it for this mod review. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then leave a like, subscribe for more and click the bell so you won't miss out on anything. My name is Tuesday and I will see you next time.